Now, why are a quarter of people who die from coronavirus diabetic? Now, if you're watching this and you're diabetic, I'm going to talk you through why diabetes can be so deadly for diabetics and what you need to do to protect yourself. Now, the first thing is that we're learning all the time. So, yes, they may be diabetic, but often they have other conditions. So 16 percent of them had chronic kidney disease. Another 26 percent of them had heart disease. We also know that people with obesity and high blood pressure at high risk. So I want to take this all back and explain why. Um, and the main reason is, is inflammation. So coronavirus causes a massive inflammatory response in the body. It um, affects the lungs, affects other areas of the body. And um, that's what eventually leads to death. Um, Multi-organ failure and the lungs not being able to get enough oxygen into the body and uh, your body eventually can't cope with it anymore and um, yeah death um, so I don't want you panicking I want to give you the information so you know what to do so one of the things to realize if we know that the deaths from coronavirus are predominantly because of the inflammatory response of the body so the response to the infection um, the coronavirus damages the body and the body tries to fight it off and that's often uh, what kills us um, so if we understand that it's inflammation that is the main cause of death with that, and they call it hyperinflammation, um, that's one of the main drivers of death for coronavirus, then we look back to the people that have been more infected, more affected or infected even um, by coronavirus, we can see the inflammation thread pulling through all of it. So diabetes is an inflammatory disease, high blood pressure inflammatory disease obesity inflammatory disease so these are all diseases that have chronic inflammation at their core um, so if you're already coming from a starting position of having inflammation in the body and then you've got coronavirus which causes massive inflammation um, your body's already coming from, uh, what do you call it, behind the line start. It's already struggling to catch up. It's already under pressure. It's already suffering from inflammation, chronic inflammation, that then carries on and makes the, uh, the inflammatory response worse. It means your body doesn't have the reserves. So... Um, and we've got to remember with type 2 diabetes and actually high blood pressure and obesity, they're all diseases of high insulin. So I've done other videos on insulin resistance. Go and search it up. I don't want to go off the thread of what we're talking about. So um, we know that blood pressure in um, diabetes and uh, obesity are all intimately connected. If you've got uh, diabetes, you're twice as likely to have high blood pressure and the other way around. If you've got high blood pressure, you're twice as likely to develop diabetes um, obesity is an inflammatory disease those fat cells don't sit there just as storage they actually pump out um, some chemicals called cytokines which are inflammatory markers throughout the body so um, fat on its own creates chronic inflammation that inflammation is important for the body it's what keeps us alive it's meant to be a short sharp shock so when you cut your hand you'll notice that it gets hot and red around it and that's the inflammatory response that's all the motorways opening in that area to get the resources there to fix the cut right so that is good chronic inflammation like imagine if um, that cut never really healed and was just chronically inflamed um, that is going to put massive stress on the body it's going to open you up to other infections it's just going to make life a lot harder so if you are watching this and you do fall into the categories that I've spoken about maybe you're in a high risk category the best thing you can do is do whatever you can to reduce inflammation in the body. So that is dietary change. If you stop eating foods that drive insulin response, so those are carbohydrates, and again, there's lots of um, videos on my channel that will walk you through that process, then that's going to reduce your inflammation in the body. It will also reduce your insulin levels, which drive inflammation, um, and it will drop blood sugars. It can help with weight loss, all of those kind of things, just to get your body back um, to uh, balance as quickly as you can so it can handle what comes at it more easily there are also some supplements out there that are proven to help i've got videos on vitamin d and the science and um, research behind that and behind vitamin c as well those are things that you can do to support your immune system without having any weird side effects 
Um, so the key thing is it's not the diabetes, it's not the obesity, it's the underlying inflammation. It's what's causing those conditions in the first place. If you can deal with what's causing those conditions, then you reduce the pressure on your body and your body is uh, stronger and more able to take what comes at it. So I don't want you, I wanted to, I, you know, I was going to say I don't want you to panic. Actually, I do want you to use this information, if you can, to... Um, to encourage you to take action. We are more um, motivated by pain than by pleasure. Um, so it's not that we want to be healthy and, well, we do, but healthy and full of energy and be able to touch our toes and play on the floor with our grandchildren. It's what we don't want. It's that we don't want to live in fear. We don't want to live with tingling in our toes and we're worried about something going wrong or going in for that yearly eye check and being terrified that the optometrist will say, I can see diabetic changes in your eyes. Right? That's what's motivating us more so you can use this as leverage as leverage to change particularly since our social worlds are shut down you are in control of what you eat so this can be a moment in time in which you can really focus on yourself and your health and take those little steps now that give you that forward momentum so you really are fighting the system you are proving that diabetes doesn't need to be progressive and you're protecting yourself at the same time so if you enjoyed this I love getting your comments I want to know um, you know have you had the statistics about diabetes uh, you know are you on medications of diabetes I always answer all the comments I love the likes and subscribe if you want to get notified any other time I make one of these videos bye for now